I'm so, so grateful for her to... <laughs> the next book I got was American Panda by Go... channel it's me Alana and for this video I am going to be doing my summer slash birthday haul for you guys so last month um, I had a birthday <laughs> I turned 23 and so I had a bunch of really really generous friends send me things and I also bought a couple of cheap things for myself as well. And I wanted to wait until now to film the haul because this was just going to be my general summer haul. And since it's almost the end of summer, I felt like it was fitting to film and post it now. So I have quite a few books here. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into this and show you guys what I got. The first book that I got was This Time Will Be Different by Misa Sugira. I... I'm so excited for this book. This is probably one of my most anticipated reads of the year um, just because it sounds like such a beautiful story and the cover is so beautiful. I got this from my friend Justin aka Ghost Reader. I won or like he was doing a little like contest type thing on Twitter where he wanted someone to guess what his next like uh, book series or like talk series would be and I randomly guessed it correctly and so he uh, said like my prize was like a book off my wish list and so he sent me this. I'm grateful because again this was my most anticipated read. This is essentially about a girl who works at a flower shop and is essentially family owned. Her mom decides that it's probably time to sell the shop despite the girl not wanting to get rid of it. From what I remember of the synopsis, it deals with a lot of like history, like the people that her mom was to sell it to is like a family who who they have had like issues with in the past. And then there's references to the Japanese work camps that took place in America as well in this. And so it just sounds like a really beautiful story and I'm just super excited to like dive in and get all the details about it. All right, the next book I got was Somewhere Only We Know by Maureen Gu. I got this from Sarah from Novel Serendipity and I'm so, so grateful to her for getting me this because this was one of my other anticipated reads. It's essentially about a girl who's a K-pop star and she meets this guy. I think he's like a, a, I don't know if he's a paparazzi or just a photographer and they like spend a night together and like it's just one night where they hang out and go get burgers and do normal things that like a pop star couldn't do and I'm just super excited because I love Asian dramas and I, I'm i like slowly getting into K-pop so I feel like this is just a story that I would absolutely enjoy and love and so yeah I'm just super super excited. The next book I got was How's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. So. I got this from Nikki from XO Nikki. I am so grateful to her for this because Howl's Moving Castle is my favorite, one of my favorite Studio Ghibli movies ever. It's Howl's Moving Castle and then My Neighbor Totoro and then A Whisper of the Heart and then from Above Poppy's Hill and just and Spirited Away is in there somewhere too. Just one of my favorites and so I didn't know it was a book for the longest time and when I found out that it was, I was like, I need to read this because I just I just need to know like what it's like. And I'm just super, super excited that I was able to get this. And thank you, Nikki, because I love you. So yeah, just super thankful and excited. The next book I got was one I was not expecting to get so soon. Like I put it on my wish list, but I wasn't expecting someone to actually like get it for me or anything. <laughs> The book that I got was Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. So I've seen so many people rave about this. I've seen people quote it uh, without any context. And so it's definitely, definitely piqued my interest. And I put this on my wish list and I wasn't expecting to like actually get it yet. I just put it on there just to like have a reference and stuff. But Justin from Ghost Reader got this for me as well for my birthday. 
and I'm so grateful because I'm excited to kind of see what everybody loves about it and see how I feel about it too. Spoiler alert, I plan on reading this uh, for my fall TBR, so be ready for that. Also, can we talk about the note that Justin sent me? He literally was like, hi Alana, you're probably about to start crying. If you are, don't. Okay, like, how are you gonna troll me on my birthday, dude? Rude. But anyways, super excited, thank you for this. You're awesome. The next book I got is another book that I'm super excited about, and it is The Rest of the Story by Sarah Dustin. I got this from my very, very, very good friend, Michelle from Michelle Reads YA. I'm so, so grateful to her for getting me this because I was really, really wanting to get this when it came out because it's Sarah Dustin and she's my queen, but I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get it for a minute, and she got this for me, and I'm so thankful, and I hope, I think we're gonna try and buddy read this together. I'm not positive yet. Still gotta figure that out, but I'm ready to read this whenever she is ready to read this, so excited. The next book I got was The Anatomical Shape of a Heart. I got this from Chloe from Brunette Bibliophile. She, I think she had an extra copy of this. I think she had gotten a hard copy of this book, and so she didn't want the paperback version anymore, and she, she asked if I wanted it, and I said sure, because I've been trying to get into Jen Bennett. So I'm super excited to get to this whenever I can. I'm really excited because I did enjoy Alex approximately, so I'm excited to see what she does with this one. The next book I got was An Arc of the Deceivers by Kristen Simmons. I know this came out already. Teresa from Just British Things, in case you don't know, she works for Kira Cass. And so sometimes Kira will kind of do an on-haul of her books if she needs to make room in her library. And so sometimes Teresa will let me uh, look at the unhaul stack that she has and let me pick some books. So for my birthday, she let me get first dibs on uh, picks. And so this was the book I wanted because I, I thought it sounded interesting. The next book I got was Empire of Storms by Sarah J. Moss. I got this from Ali from Alley with Books, and I'm grateful for her to, for getting me this. I really, really need to continue this series. Hopefully I can, I think my goal is to finish Harry Potter and then start this one, because I can only handle doing one really long series at a time. And so since I've already invested so much in Harry Potter right now, like I'm on the fifth book, I think I should wait and then start this next and continue from there. Otherwise, I'll just get overwhelmed, especially because they're both fantasy series and they're both really long fantasy series. So I think I should just like limit myself so I don't fry my brain. The next book I got was The Long Game by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is the sequel in her Fixer duology. Um, in case you don't know, she did The Naturals, which is my all-time favorite series. Um, and in this duology, it's essentially like scandal but like in high school, the TV show Scandal, and I am super excited that I got this. Carrie from Carrie the Book Bill got this for me, and I am just so grateful to her for uh, sending me this because I've been wanting to finish the duology for a really long time, and so I'm excited that I can do that now. Okay, the next book I got was American Panda by Gloria Chow. Um, I got, this was the other book that I got from Carrie, from Carrie the Book Bell. I'm grateful for her for sending me two books, like, that's amazing, and I love her so much for that. I was waiting for the paperback, um, copy to come out before I read this, just because I preferred the paperback cover to the hardcover. Um, I just thought this one was more colorful and more beautiful, and so I'm actually excited that I got my hands on this because I'm actually going to be reading it this month for the Disney-a-thon. So super, super excited that I can read this now and fangirl with all my other friends who have read it. All right, so the next couple of books are books that I got myself. I kind of had a treat myself day um, just because they were cheap books and I really wanted them. So the first book that I got was Cracked Up To Be by Courtney Summers. So I have read Sadie and I thought it was pretty good. So I've actually had this on my TBR for a really long time. I just never got around to buying it. So I saw this and it was only like three bucks. So I figured that this would be a good time to pick it up and check it out. The next book I got was Dragon's Breath by Edie Baker. This is the second book in her Princess Frog series. Um, I have the first book 
but I want to kind of get the rest of the books in that series because I really enjoyed this series when I read it in middle school. It's technically, uh, so the frog princess was the original inspiration for the princess and the frog. Um, they just changed it around a little bit and stuff like that. So I am super excited that like I could get this and I found this because if I don't really see it in stores that often unless I like go to like a Barnes Noble or something. So it was cool seeing this in like a a secondhand shop. The next book I got was Girls That Growl by Mariam and Kessie. So um, I've already read this. I have I think almost all of the books in this series right now but the first three books of this series that I have are mass market paperbacks and so and then the like the last couple of books I have in the series are like this like paperback height and so I kind of want to get the rest like I, for the first three books I want to get them like this so they all match because I honestly don't like mass market paperbacks. So it's been my mission to like fix that in some, cause some of the series I have like here in my room, um, some of the first couple of books in the series I only have in ma mass market paperbacks and I really, really want to change that. So I saw this at the store and I was like, I can't pass this opportunity up to exchange these out. The last book I have is Ghost Huntress, The Reason by Marley Gibson. Um, I got this because this is a really good series and I've been wanting to get the physical books because I have them all on my Kindle and I would just rather have, like I have the first one in, I think I have the first two books in the physical form and then the rest are on my Kindle and I would like to have all of them in physical form so they just all match. Um, and so I saw this at the store and I thought that it was a good chance to get it, especially because it was only like $3 so it wasn't too bad. All right, and we are done. <laughs> that was my summer slash birthday book haul. I'm so grateful for everybody who got me something. I honestly wasn't expecting gifts this year. I like, yeah, <laughs> I just wasn't expecting it. So I'm super, super grateful as always to have friends that like love me enough to send me things. And I'm hopefully gonna return the favor once I can have a stable paycheck coming in <laughs> now that I have a job. So I am just, I'm super grateful and super happy and yeah. If you guys like the video, go ahead and like it down below. If you have any comments on any of these books that I have shown you, um, whether you're excited to read some of them, whether I should prioritize some of them, let me know down below. If you guys are not good at commenting, I'm going to say leave an emoji down below for me. I'm still in the idea for my friend Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment. And if you guys want to keep seeing more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You guys are all so large in a world full of weeds. Thank you.